Today I'm going to be installing the We Are Likewise shift knob. First and foremost, I just want to state this out there that this is not a performance shift knob. This is the exact opposite. So if you're considering buying a performance weighted shift knob, these are not it for you. But without further ado, let's hop into the video. So I ordered the little Uzi shift knob and the Rod Stewart. I actually ordered the Tiffany and Hope color, which I think this one looks the best. And for the Stewart's rod, I just ordered it black just so it'll look a little bit better inside the car. So mainly these are just for looks. These are not meant for performance. So for the adapter, likewise on the website, they do have a chart for your car. So you just gotta look at what size is your adapter and then you gotta pick it. So choose correctly. If not, then it won't fit into your OEM shifter. All right guys, so I got my skill here and let's compare the likewise shift knob to my OEM shift knob. My guess is that the Miata OEM shift knob will be way more heavier than the likewise shift knob. So let's weigh the OEM shift knob first. So as you guys can see, it weighs about 10.7 ounces. And if you convert it to grams, it will be about 303 grams. Time to weigh the little Uzi. 7.5 ounces. Converting that to gram, 212 grams. So now let's weigh this rod. Boom, it is at 3.0 ounces. So which convert to gram, it will be 85 grams. So now let's put these two together to see how much it weighs. So it weighs about 10.5 ounces. And if you convert that to gram, it will be 297 grams. I was correct. The OEM shift knob is heavier than the likewise shift knob. So when you first get inside the car, what you want to do first is to take off the OEM shift knob, which you just twist it to the left. Once you've taken out the OEM shift knob, what you want to do is add these adapters so you can put on your likewise shift knob. So the next step is to tighten this part right here. So you just grab your wrench and just twist it to the right to tighten it. So once you tighten it, you just put it on now. So sometimes this likewise logo right here is not centered to this likewise so what you want to do is is take this off once you've taken it off they provide you with the hex allen key which it fits directly in here and you just twist it to the right or left and then you just adjust the logo to make it center to this logo right here all right so now let's take it for a test drive to see how it feels my guess is that it is not going to be better than oem guys All right guys, so let's see how it feels driving. Oh my goodness, for the first, it feels like you're selling a boat, bro. Like this is not upgrading from going to like a short ship. This is like a long shift upgrade, downgrade actually. This is funny guys, this is so long and it's so close to, to the steering wheel, which it's, a, which it's a good thing, but then at the same time it's like so Come on guys, oh my goodness, downshift, okay, let's see, no car, oh my goodness, feels like I'm selling down the road, through a bowl, bruh, this, but the thing is that this thing shifts so smooth though, it's like butter, you know what I'm saying, this is like, so tall, and oh my god, I can't just explain it guys, you guys gotta have to, like, drive it. So for my opinion, I think that this thing is not worth this much. Cause like, if you go for looks, then yes. But then like, like this, it is not, it, it is not it guys. This is like selling down a boat. If you're gonna race, you're gonna like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. like that's like so long. <laughs> this is fun though. I'm not gonna lie. It just not, it doesn't satisfy me because I'm like used to like more of the performance side. All right guys, so let's see from first gear pull to second gear pull. Like on the feel on the hand, I feel like in the summer, it'll like burn your hand because of the aluminum. So, not too great. So you lose performance, you lose the feeling of, of the short shift. 
which it's kind of bad i'm not gonna lie but at the same time this looks good you know what i'm saying if you guys have any questions you know just comment down below you know what i'm saying like i said for looks i think it looks great i think it's one of the better looking shift knob if you're going for look it's also a personal preference too because i personally like this color and, and i like the look maybe not this tall though because it's pretty tall you know what i'm saying it's pretty long guys and like a lot of people a lot of y'all be saying that it's kind of sus i mean this is like more towards of the sus side like type of ship knob so this will be the end of the video and i truly appreciate you guys staying till this long and if you guys have any questions at all make sure to comment down below for the rating on the likewise ship knob i will rate it a 5 out of 10 it is not the greatest it is not the worst make sure to smash the like button and subscribe you know if you're a noob consider checking out my channel i post on the daily now also i'm gonna be releasing my merch pretty soon 2023 so as you guys can see this is from my cyan frs from the design at the back but yeah my online shop is almost ready it's almost ready hopefully next month or so because i am doing everything by myself so it is pretty hard guys but yes guys anyways i hope you guys did enjoy this video and i'll catch you guys on another video so dream big and inspired